And a good morning to you. Divisive is a good word in this case since the council vote itself was a slim four to three. Now, proponents of this dispensary say it will do a lot for the city as well as protect children because it'll be heavily regulated. In a town that only recently got its first ever pub, Pacific Grove is now looking at a more recently legalized business, a cannabis dispensary. Only one is allowed in town after a tight vote from city council Wednesday night, but not everyone is on board. Having a dispensary located, especially in downtown where it's being proposed, is a, uh, is a difficult proposition being so close to schools, parks, and other youth serving organizations and locations. Business owner Steve Thomas says the few stores directly impacted by having a dispensary nearby were not consulted or given a chance to weigh in. The Pacific Grove Unified School District Board also voiced opposition, citing concerns for students. But proponents, including Pacific Grove City Manager and City Councilwoman Cynthia Garfield, say the city is in dire need of more revenue. And you can already see the empty buildings without businesses due to the COVID-related recession. For cannabis, though... They turned out to be recession-proof. Um, they are uh, something that people buy, just like they buy alcohol, all the time, whether the economy is good, bad, or indifferent. And so it would be a business that is not subject to the same ebb and flow as our tourism businesses are. We have a desire to not have people spend money outside of Pacific Grove if they don't have to. We always want to try to capture um, tax dollars in town if that's possible. Sales taxes and a new community benefit agreement fund means the city will get a slice of the pot. The city says industry experts estimate the dispensary could bring in about $4.5 million a year. Taking 5 to 6 percent of that, along with sales taxes, the city could potentially see over $300,000 in annual revenue. The dispensary will be heavily regulated with buffer zones from schools and rules against smoking in public. One city council member who voted against the ordinance is weary that the business selection process is not as transparent as it could be. Our residents will not have the opportunity to have public comment and the selection of the one cannabis license will be done, not in public. An application request for interested parties go out next week, and I'm told that there is already interest. Reporting for Wake Up, Josh Tristianto, KIO News Channel 546.